Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn. Welcome to Short and Sweet. Today we're going to work on one exercise and one nutritional tip to keep you healthy and strong. Now our exercise today is pretty simple, but it has a pretty big punch to it too. And the reason is, is because it helps us improve our stability. Now stability is how we control our body's positioning in movement. And that's really important for us and a major ingredient for us to stay active as we mature. So you can see why that's a real important thing to work on. Now it also improves our core, strengthens our core and our back. Now this is called a rehab, a prehab rehab rehab exercise because it strengthens our back and it also is good for our back when our back's acting up a little bit all right and it works on a bunch of other things too but we concentrate on those more than others all right well hey let's quit talking and let's get going all right here we go so we're going to get down on our hands and knees and we're going to make that box under us, right? So our hands are right in the, uh, line with our shoulders and our knees are right in line with our hips, about hip distance apart. So when we look underneath here, we have a nice little box, okay? Now I want those shoulders to just be back a little bit on the back, but more relaxed than not. And I want that belly button to go up to the spine. So we're going to pull that waistband up to the ceiling. Okay, so that's real important. Now we're going to extend opposite arm and leg. Now there's a few things to think about here. Now first, I don't want to sag my belly in. I want my belly to stay tall. Remember, waistline to the ceiling. And I'm squeezing my glute, and I want my leg to be in line with my glute. And I'm going to pull my leg up with my hamstring. So that's this muscle back here, actually three muscles. We're gonna pull that up like that. And I want my opposite arm to be about ear height, if that's possible. So that's why those shoulders have to be down the back. If you find your shoulders coming up into your ears, either readjust those shoulder blades or bring the arm down a little bit to accommodate that. Now then you're going to do that with the opposite side, right? Now this arm is still healing, so I can't quite get it up where I need it to go, but that's okay. We do the best we can. Now you're going to go from one to the other, breathing, keeping the abs engaged and getting those heights and those positions of that body right where you know it belongs. All right, good. Now today, our nutritional tip is about a wonderful summer treat called watermelon. Now we do watermelon at wonderful picnics and family gatherings, or even for dessert after a great meal. And why watermelon? Well, you know, for 46 calories a cup, you can't beat it, right? It's a lot of water in that watermelon, which is also good for hydration. But the, the calories in there hold enormous amount of nutrition, right? So we're gonna look at what they have. So it's minerals, potassium, and magnesium. Potassium is important for the muscles, and we use those all the time, right? I know you do, right? And, and it's also good for getting that electrical signaling correct with the heart and the nervous system. Pretty important. And magnesium, also important for our muscles and for a lot of body systems like blood pressure, blood sugar, and nerve function. So those are important minerals to have. And then it's loaded with vitamins and a huge amount of antioxidants and some of the big heavy hitters in the antioxidants. We have um, glutathione, a real heavy hitter with that, and lycopene is just a few of them. Now that lycopene, which is why it's colored red, it also is in tomato tomatoes, but watermelon has 40% more lycopene than the tomato. And why is that important? Because that lycopene helps take our risk of strokes down. All right. So we want to eat that watermelon. And then of course it has an amino acid called citrulline. Now that has uh, wonderful things, uh, produces nitric oxide or works in that production of nitric oxide, which really is important for our blood vessels. So 
What are you waiting for? Put that watermelon on your plate and go ahead and indulge in that. Hey, you know why I do this. I do this so that you can look good, feel good, and move well. And I want to invite you to our new website called Vigor and Trim. It's a membership site for fitness and health for people over 50, where we give you personalized workout sessions. So come and join us, right? In the meantime, I'm going to look to see you right here next week on Short and Sweet. See you then. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.